Well, it seems the Star Wars fandom is now reaching a boiling point. Lawsuits are being talked about as Star Wars Theory YouTuber uh, is now threatening legal action against Wikipedia for them stating that he sent his audience to conduct illegal activities of threats and more against the fandom site. Well, it's pretty disparaging to see that this is where we've gone now. The Acolyte, the Star Wars show, has completely tanked. They've spent $180 million on this show just to completely crap on the fans. The idea that George Lucas's IP was not what it is today. It nowhere is close to what it was. Uh, it was a very diverse, a very inclusive fandom in the first place, and now it's being divided by those that want the divide. They believe the divide is what makes the money, but it's not. It's what they're being told to do, but it's going to land people now, it seems, in the front of a court of law. YouTuber star Moore's theory threatens lawsuit against Wikipedia. He's threatening a lawsuit against Wikipedia after online Star Wars encyclopedia accused him and his followers of sending them death threats. Ex-user Ash Rindar accused Star Wars theory of sending his followers to issue death threats in a now deleted post. She wrote on X, hey, Star Wars theory, these are your people sending death threats, time to rein them in, condemn what they are doing, time to put your money where your mouth is, and back up being respectful, spite and spile, you always say. Yeah, he always says he does not condone this type of thing as law, as most general YouTubers will and more people that have influence on in the online space. No one should be sending illegal threats against anybody. I have a file folder that I've put a few in uh, that I personally get on the channel uh, and I just laugh it off. I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. And, you know, copy, paste, delete. That's, that's all that happens and I move on with my life. But obviously we have one side here sitting there screaming at the rooftops that this is all because of someone bringing something up about Star Wars or a fandom that people are very involved with. Recently, um, the last video I did about the, the cringe Star Wars song that came out, I also spoke in there how Looper is blaming Nerd Roddick and Critical Drinker for the show going the way it is and the fandom becoming this toxic sexism and bigotry, all this buzzwords that they now have absolutely no meaning behind them. She added, and don't use your, I don't control my community excuse. First thing I got to say here, no one has mind control over their audience. Uh, people are going to do what they're going to do. Uh, recently here on the channel, I spoke about Baldur's Gate 3, how the financials for the game is going to help tank Hasbro's future projections. But no one got that from the video. It even went to the point where uh, a per another YouTuber, Sid Alpha, sat there and disparagingly went after me. He had some of his fans come after me. I don't blame Sid for this. I blame the people that get too involved and to follow people a little too closely. Hey, if you're not following this channel, maybe you should subscribe today. Maybe we can have a legit talk of discourse where if people want to actually talk about things, I try to do that. Um, but where am I supposed to be? I understand there is people that will sit there and have different ideas on what's going on out there in the world. I see things in a much bigger spectrum than a lot of people seeing one video game being the end all be all of something. But then if you look at everything else that's gone along with certain companies, you can see where the failures lie and you can see how financials make things very difficult to follow. Especially when a show like The Acolyte has $180 million sunk into this show just to produce something that is lore breaking, canon breaking, absolute garbage writing, and it just goes along the wayside and no one, and no one wants to see this type of thing. And it really is telling with Star Wars where it gone. 
Kathleen Kennedy on the difficulties of women working on Star Wars face. I think a lot of the women who step into the Star Wars struggle with toxic fandom attacks a bit more because the fan base being so male dominated, they sometimes get attacked in ways that quite personally operate within these giant franchises with social media and the level of expectation. It's terrifying. These things, the, the this fandom that everyone talks about is very skewed because the data points that they're using don't really tell the truth. Uh, Star Wars timeline, any fandom uh, that has its share of toxic vocal infiltrators, they don't speak for Star Wars fans who praise the franchise at its peak and critique it at its worst. No art can survive without public scrutiny. And that's exactly where we are today. Everyone is subject to scrutiny, especially online where we have a social media presence. You know, there's some days I sit there personally and I go, well, really, is this what I want to do? Yeah, this is. I want to sit there and talk about things and talk and discuss how predictable these companies are being, these corporations. And then everyone else that's out there fanning these flames are just useful pawns for these corporations. It's absolutely pathetic when you think about it. Back to the Star Wars theory. I don't condone thets. I also don't appreciate slander and defamation to my brand company for things I've never said, stated, insulated, or appropriated uh, on behalf of my fan base. Any defamation will result in legal action at my discretion, as this is becoming quite a large public issue. I take these allegations very seriously. And this was in response to the Master of the TDS, who has done immense of work uh, showcasing how bots have infiltrated Twitter, how many different companies are using bots to up their games, their movies, their franchises, and everything like that. If you ever wonder if you're on the wrong side of Star Wars fandom, take a look at this post. If you would never say something like this about someone, you are on the right side. He really thinks he's being defamed when he 100% incited a lot of what happened in the last four days. He really thinks that he's Donald Trump and Kid Adermund was his January 6th. Uh, the particular character they are talking about in the accolade didn't even exist until much later on in the canon of Star Wars. So there's a lot going on behind that at the same time. Yeah, I'm sorry. He needs to be massively deplatformed. Someone's going to get hurt if he keeps spewing this BS. Also, good luck suing a wiki, you sick. The particular post, Wikipedia, it's telling that we don't get any threats until immediately after he told his followers to fix Wikipedia. The ones that came to vandalize the site from that are the ones we got threats from. Uh, a lot of times when this type of thing happens, you will find it there was an internal source and not the external source and someone just trying to drive a bigger wedge in the target that they are doing at this point. They have a few psychos, a few assholes that are going around sending them death threats. And now their audience and they themselves are purporting that I am the one sending these threats. It is me, my responsibility, my fan base, my people. And I made a statement statement on X on Twitter that is erroneous, that is ridiculous. How many times do I have to make videos where I denounce this kind of behavior. You no, know, it's really tough to say where things go with fandoms nowadays. Something comes out of the past and it, it was a great success. It was this giant thing and it was so good. It was something that was reveled and celebrated and everything else like that. And now we have where companies like Disney sitting there going, we need to promote this message more than everything else in the fandom. What, what does that do? You completely lose touch with everyone out there. I covered the topic of, about how it's a male dominated fandom and why it's kind of off putting where that is. The male domination is most of the people that are signed up for the sites that are taking roles in this and taking data points. These data points can easily be skewed. There is a lot of female representation in the Star Wars fandom as well. Like my wife absolutely loves Star Wars, but 
This new stuff, she won't even touch. She doesn't even want to deal with it, and neither do I. It's not anywhere what it was once. I remember I went to the, the Last Jedi movie. I dressed up. I had a lightsaber, for Christ's sakes. And uh, I walked out of that movie completely disappointed, uh, wishing I could have my two whatever hours back of my life because it was an absolute trash fire it was nowhere close to what they set up with the force awakens i thought the force awakens was a decent movie i thought it could have set up for a new trilogy and it would have done very well but then it became more about the message it's absolutely pathetic where we are now with star wars and honestly everyone's sitting there going they can have it disney can take star wars and run with it because now it's dead there's nothing left for them to really do in this. And there's supposed to be a new Star Wars movie. Star Wars 10, where Rey suddenly creates a new Jedi Order that's more inclusive and everything else out there. And no, it's just an ideology that's uh, completely run rampant right now in the, uh, in the movies and video game space. And it's absolutely ruining everything that we fell in love with. What made these things great? It's not what they are today. Today, it's just a shell of its former self that is owned by a corporation that's going to put in whatever they want to tell you this is the way things are. And then you have access media that will sit there and run interference for it. You have critics that will sit there and praise it because it checks all their boxes. And then you have an audience that sits there and says, this is dog shit crap. This is worse than a dog's breakfast on a Sunday afternoon as it's baked in the sun, because it's gone that bad. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix in a shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.